98 achievements, one save. This is Achievement Chaser. Okay, we are back with Achievement Chaser for episode 134 now, and we are back with Brazil, finally with Brazil again for some actual uh, competitive games. We've had a, quite a few friendlies, I think. Oh wait, that's 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 somewhere else. Don't look at that. Don't 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 look at that. Um, here we go. Here's the schedule. Uh, we've had a couple of friendlies. Um, we did lose to Mexico 3-2 in our first friendly after the Iran game. Basically, it was just a bit of them. FMing us as per usual, playing old players like Escobedo. That was nice to see them again. Estrada was there, um, but yeah, it was it was unfortunate. Um, we then went on to beat South Korea three one in a friendly. Rodrigo with two and Tiba with his first goal for the nation, uh, and then we played Saudi Arabia and went on three nil. Aurelio, Eduardo, and Adriano. But now we have the World Cup qualifiers. The World Cup qualifiers take a long time, uh, with over three years um, for uh 2034 now so this is it's just basically every all 10 nations in south america play each other how many times do we play each other um play 18 games and the top six get the world cup and the seventh get the world cup playoff so i want to finish top we have chile today uh and then we also have venezuela so let's just see how things go um this is the team we've picked here uh, we got Elio Omar Dambros in goal, who is at Arsenal at the moment. If I don't, I'll, I'll go through the first team to sort of jog your memory. We have Eduardo at right back, uh, currently at Hertha. Um, Gabriel Oliveira at Arsenal. Uh, Ferreira also at Atletico Madrid. Um, and then we got Adriano, who's Brazil Armenian at Liverpool. Then in midfield, we have Jordan, uh, who's at Arsenal. And then Leo, obviously, Salgueras. Jose Veraldo starts on the right as well. Uh, more uh, Salgueras and Alan Enrique. I'm a bit bit biased slightly. Rodrigo um, is our real player, starting on the left wing from Man City. And then up top, it's Anderson Luis, currently at Leicester. So let's, let's just see how things go, lads. Um, we should be beating them. I reckon. Um, we need a big performance today. Get get the qualification off to a good start. Chile, Argentina, uh, Colombia, those are going to be the big sides that we need to beat, basically. And a home win versus them is very much needed. Um, I would love to win every game of our qualifiers, but for some reason I don't feel that's going to happen. But let's see. So it's going to take it's going to take a long time. There we are. We are playing former players. We're playing Serda, Guzman, Hugo Whiteley at the moment. So who else have they got? Um, I think that's everyone that we've had play for us or currently playing for us. So let's try and not injure too many boys, lads. Um, but to be completely honest, it's very odd. They're playing a very defensive formation. Um, I am going to close down Guzman uh, because he is a threat. Uh, and Raquel May, I've looked at him quite a few times. He did play for Genk, um, but he looks like he's pushing forward. It's very defensive. So we'll see how things go here. Uh, we'll just kick off uh, straight into it, lads. Let's go attacking from the off. Uh, let's try and put some pressure onto them, maybe. But they've got the ball here. Uh, we're in the yellow there and the red. Maybe we sit back on positive. No, we've won the ball. Anderson Luis running through. Go on, fella. He's going to take the shot himself. And it's high and wide. Very much high and wide there. Need a bit better from you there, mate, um, to be for, for this sort of game, mate. But here we go. Second chance of the game. Adriano into Alan Enrique. Jordan. Leo. Go on. Adriano. Good play. Adriano. Put it into the box. He puts it in. And Anderson Luis puts us up 1-0 this time. Very, very good start. Nine minutes in. And we're 1-0 up versus Chile. Very, very nice play from the boys. Good play there. Alan Enrique into Jordan. Into Leo. Great little ball through from him to Adriano. Uh, the left back there. And then he puts it into the box. And Anderson Luiz gets in front of his defender to put us up 1-0. Very nice. And the first goal of all the qualifiers comes to us. Jose Verrado on the corner. Plays it in. It's cleared. Jamie Serda clears it. But Eduardo's there. Jordan. Leo. Go on, lad. Play it. Enrique. Tries the shot, but it's blocked. Or pass, I think. Eduardo's on it again. Go on. Enrique. Rodrigo. He's going to take a shot. Oh, I thought I was going to hit the top bins for a second. But no. Just wide. We've had a good start here. We just need to move on, though. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Your guy go 1-0 up against Colombia. Clearance from the corner. Maybe we... I forgot. We should put the, the corner um, 
thing because I think it's actually been helping us quite a lot. Um, so we moved them him to wait. Mm, we move those over and then move you there, and then oh, so we do have some form. Um, and then swap swap them over. Yes, that's what I want to do. Leo, I don't really want Leo taking corners to be honest. Okay, Leo still on it though. Enrique back to Leo. Enrique again into Jordan. Leo into Jose Everaldo. Going to play in his right back? No, he's going to hold on to himself. Back to Leo. All the Saguaros players just playing with each other at the moment. Jose again. Jordan. It's, it's, a, it's a slow... It, we're holding on to the ball well here. They're, they are very compact, to be completely honest. Leo tries the ball through. But it's fallen to Anderson Luiz. It was a major cock up at the pack. And Anderson Luiz gets his second. And we have our second... My days, what happened there? It was a real mess up at the back. I don't know if it was our player or what. Jordan plays it into Leo here, who I think he tries the ball through at this point. And Whiteley, I don't know what happens there, but Whiteley's helping us out, I think, I think uh, and puts us up 2-0. Very, very nice. We have dominated this match so far. Um, Bolivia, Peru's 1-1 at the moment. Paraguay 1-0 up versus Venezuela. Another chance for us here. Eduardo on the right. Plays it in, Whiteley blocks him. He's going to get back on it, though. Eduardo beats his man. Go on, Eduardo. He's going to pull it pull it back for Jose. Plays the ball in. Anderson Luiz nearly, nearly got a header there for his hat-trick. But we are dominating this match. Peru get their equaliser. Oh, that, that, that's already come up. I already read that on the left there. It's a bit slow, this, this little the dugout tablet here. But here we go. Another chance for us. Adriano plays it in. It's cleared. Back straight out to him. Can he put another ball in? Um, it's quite nice playing as Brazil because you're a very good squad. <laughs> but I just need to—I need to win that that World Cup, and then we can start playing as weird nations and trying to get World Cup runs with them. That would be—that is sort of the goal. I want to do weird nations. Eduardo plays it in. It's cleared. Jordan gets onto it though. Oh, and it's cleared again. Adriano, can we put another ball in? He's going to go himself down the left. Going to pull a ball, pull it back. No, he's going to go himself, but no one was there. Everyone rushed into the box, and no midfielder was there to pick it up. Rodrigo again. Into Jose. Oh, he should have pulled it across. Should have gone across the keeper. He went front post and the keeper tips it around the post. But we are very much uh, dominating this match at the moment. Uh, and making the pressure count at least for the two goals so far. Jose going himself. Nunez. Oh, I thought that might be a foul, but no. Uh, Bolivia go 2-1 up against Peru. Ecuador, Argentina is still nil-nil. Half time comes. I'm very happy with how things are going, boys. Keep it up. I wonder if they're going to change much. They haven't really changed anything at the moment. But as things stand, we're quite happy to sit and just keep pushing. Um, Leo's looking a little bit tired. Argentina have gone 2-0 up, actually, out of nowhere. And somehow they go top, I guess, on goal difference. 3-0 um, now. Okay, they are on 3-0 on goal difference. I was going to, I meant alphabetical order. Um, but now they are up on goal difference. They just wait until the second half to kick off. But Chile have a chance here. Okay, no, it falls to Danbros. 30 minutes to go. Maybe starting to look a make a few changes now. Into Leo here. But we can push from the back here. Jordan. Leo. Beats his man there. Plays it to Alan Enrique. Been a bit quiet he has today. Plays it off to Rodrigo. Both wingers have actually been a bit quiet. We lose the ball, but they give it straight back to us. They haven't been much of a threat today, unfortunately. For, oh, well, fortunately for us. Eduardo. Going to go down the right. Can he put the ball in? He's going to pull it into the back post. It falls to Leo. Adriano going to try again from across. The fullbacks are so important, and that's going to be a penalty, and Anderson Luiz will try and take it for his hat-trick. Um, I'm going to let him take it. Anderson Luiz steps up and puts it in for his hat-trick. Lovely stuff from the Leicester striker, uh, and that is 3-0, and game done and dusted, uh, hopefully. <laughs> if they make a half an hour comeback, I won't be very happy. Puts it in the bottom corner. Very, very nice. Okay. Um... Have they changed anything? They've brought on a right mid. We are going to make a couple subs, I think. Um, let's see. Whiteley's looking very tired. Please don't injure him. Um, let's see what else there. Centre mid's changed. Um, who is it that want, needs to come off? I think Eduardo needs to come off for Kaun. Uh, um, who else? Leo for the Renan, I guess. And then we'll see who else has it. I think a lot of us have uh, suspensions. Uh, for the next game. So we'll make a couple changes there and see who else gets tired next and they'll be the last substitute. Um, but we do have a highlight here, actually. Uh, the subs have come on. Lizana wins it, the new new right winger. Are they going to get a goal back here? They've played it very well. Sierra 
That's very annoying. Extremely annoying. The new centre mid scores. Um, we should have put some marking on him, of all things. It's just the new new subs didn't get on in time, didn't get into their positions, and we've conceded. I'm very unhappy about that, to be completely honest. Uh, I wanted that that uh, goal difference. Bolivia beating Peru 3-1. Argentina winning 3-0. Rodrigo's looking tired. We'll bring on Vinicius Jr. for him, uh, and that'll be it for today. Okay, let's see. Five minutes left. Can we get a fourth goal? Adriano into Vinicius Jr. Renan into Jordan. Good ball to Adriano. Going to put a cross in. He does, and Enrique's up for it. It falls back to Jordan. Renan. Oh, he tries to play over. Quan gets it. Vinicius Jr., and that's headed over. Nearly all the subs combining there to get us our fourth. But unfortunately not. Bolivia go 4-1 up versus Peru. Um... I think they might be top of the league at that point. Um, Alan Enrique on the ball, though. Loses out, and they might have a chance again to counter-attack here. Rojas. We've got four minutes of added time. It will make it a bit squeaky bum time for those last four minutes, but they go wide. Um, not too bad. And then that seems to be it for the full time. Good stuff. 3-1 win versus Chile. Extremely good win. The, the goal conceded was a bit disappointing, but I don't think goal difference is going to be what decides this league. This is when it cuts to me three years later going, goal difference is what decided this. Um, but it, it's, it's, well, that's just something. Um, sorry, I'm a bit distracted by all the European Super League stuff. It's going to be, going to be something. Um, okay, here we go. Good stuff. Uh, we are fourth because Paraguay won uh, more than us. We we hammer Chile. We will be back, though, for the uh, second game where we're going to take on Venezuela. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back now for our game versus Venezuela. So uh, they're currently sitting bottom. They lost, uh, was it 4-1, I assume? 4-1, 3-0 to Paraguay. So Bolivia currently sit top, winning 4-1. Argentina won 3-0, Paraguay won 3-0, and we won 3-1. So we're sitting fourth at the moment. But let's see how things go. This is the team lineup we're looking at at the moment. Um, we are looking at Dombros, Eduardo, Felipe, Tiba, uh, Aurelio, Leo, Jordan, Everaldo, Jimmy comes in for Enrique, Rodrigo, and Anderson, Luis. So let's just go straight into this. This should be a bit of an easy game, hopefully. Hopefully. It's away from home. You never know. You never know. But uh, you'd hope that this was good. Oh, especially after the uh, game we played versus Chile, which we won 3-1. Uh, so uh, let's, let's see. Let's see how things go. Um, we're still, still warming up. It's, it's taking its time. There we go. Okay. Uh, I want you to pick up where you left off last time, boys. Okay. Uh, Hurtado. Uh, they're playing a weird formation, to be fair. So maybe that will cause us some issues. But... I think we just go attacking again. I forgot to do the uh, the corners again. We'll, we'll we'll do that right now. Hold on. Um, set pieces, corners. Here we go. Attack. Um, you should be there. You should be there. And then you should be there. And then you should be there. No, wait. There we go. Jordan's taking. Yeah, okay, great. In we go, into kickoff. We're on attacking from the off. Let's get a big win, boys. Let's get a big win. Need to dominate this game. It's against Venezuela. Colombia go 1 0 up versus Paraguay. Here's our first chance. We're in the yellow today. Aurelio into Everaldo. On the left, it seems here. Aurelio, back to him. Back to Jose Everaldo. Plays in Jimmy. Is that his first goal for Brazil? I think that might be his, that's his first goal for Brazil. The two Salgueros players linking up. I don't think Jamie would have got a chance, or Everaldo, or Tiba, with with the current Brazil manager. So it's nice to see them performing uh, well uh, with me as manager. It's a bit of favouritism, a little bit, but uh, I don't really care. I'm, <laughs> they're my players, and I think they, they're, they're good enough for the Brazil squad. Uh, it's nice to have an, a, a big number in there. Okay, Tiba into Aurelio, and it's good because like, I sort of know how they play as well. Oh, great ball to Jose. I don't think he's got his first goal. That would be good for him to get his first goal today. Pull, holds up, plays into Anderson Luiz. It was blocks. It could have been a second very easily there. Hurtado actually picked that up. There could be a counter. For, no, he runs it out. <laughs> he runs it out. That was very good by Everardo. On Anderson Luiz, unlucky with the block. Um, but we're dominating so far. Kind of want that second goal, though. It's half an hour in, and we're only 1-0 up. Tiba gets a yellow. 
uh, ball in. Tiba already got his first goal for Brazil, to be fair, but he heads over. Uh, couldn't get his second there. Paraguay go uh, above us with their... their where are they? They're beating Colombia 2-1. They got the uh, comeback. Interesting. Okay, looking to going into half time. Not the biggest performance by us. Um, I'm not happy, boys. I expect more, to be honest. Rodrigo's on a 6.4, to be honest. He's having a poor game. Um, let's see if we can sort of uh, step it up in the second half. Dan Bros, don't do anything silly out there, mate, please. Just play it short to your left back. Okay, he goes to the centre back. Um, and we go long. We've kept it, thankfully. Rodrigo cutting inside. He's going to run through the middle here. Give it off to Jose. Give it off, mate. No, he's going himself. Uh, he's still going himself. He's going to pull it back. No, he's just going to just... It's very typical FM winger stuff. Um, run directly at the goal at the sh tightest angle and try and shoot from there. Um, but, okay, Aurelio on the throw-in. Plays it into Rodrigo. Back to Aurelio. He's on a yellow. He will be out of the last game. Leo's shot is blocked. Jordan into Eduardo. Oh, and his shot is wide. We're getting a few more chances, but... Not really any good ones, to be fair. Ecuador go 3-0 up versus Bolivia. Um, let's see. We are we have not getting many ch chances on target. We've only had three shots on target all game. Very poor from us. Eduardo. Oh, he's, he's uh, tackled there. Aurelio into Jordan. Back to Aurelio. Can he put a ball in here? He's, he's running to the to the byline. He holds it up back to Jordan. Plays into the... Oh, it was a poor ball, really. No one really gambled on it. Um... And the keeper holds it. And to be fair, they have one goal like Chile did and they're back on level terms. So we kind of need that second goal. 60th minute, Rodrigo. I, I'm taking Rodrigo off. He's had a terrible game today. Um, we're going to bring on Vinicius Jr. for him. Um, he's just been pretty poor. Eduardo on the ball now. Tries to put a ball in. Blocks. Jose's going to get onto it. Plays it back to Pablo Felipe. Back to Jose. Is there one more chance still on in this before the substitution takes place? Anderson Luis, Eduardo, put a ball in now, mate. Beat your man. He does. And Jimmy. Oh, it's offside. I thought it was his second goal for him. It didn't look offside to me. Um, where is he? He's he's down here. Oh, that's a joke. That's literally millimetres. Literally millimetres there. Okay. Well, then. Um, 25 minutes gone to go. We're still 1-0 up. We kind of want a bit more going on. Chile go 2-0 up versus Peru. They've brought a new attacking midfielder on. They've only had one shot all game. We've just played pretty poorly. Um, they've made all of their subs, actually. Just an attacking midfielder, a wing back, and a centre mid. So we'll put that on them. Um, Leo's looking tired. We'll sub him off for Renan. Um, and just go from there. Let's see. Can we get a last goal, boys? Ten minutes to go. We have absolutely dominated. Maybe if we sit back on positive, maybe it will make us a bit more calm on the ball. Jose Veraldo, we're we on Ronaldson Donzietti for him. Give him a rest before we go back into the, the league games. There's one more chance here. Hopefully it's not for them. Aurelio wins that. They actually get onto it. Jao Pereira, Gabri goes long. Tiba wins it. Aurelio. Don't lose it here, lad. Tiba, Aurelio. Careful, boys. Careful. Careful. Okay, gives it up to Jimmy. Go on, mate. He's got, he gone into Donizetti. Donizetti into Vinicius Jr. And that is 2-0. Very good. I'm, I'm definitely pronouncing Ronaldson Donizetti. Donizetti. That is, that's it. Ronaldson Donizetti. Great ball up to Jimmy there. Plays it off to Don. Izetti, <laughs> and then he plays it a great little pass through, and Vinicius Jr. finishes well for 2-0, uh, and that is the game. There is a kickoff highlight, though. Can we get a third, or will they get a, a, a consolation again, just like last time against Chile? They've suddenly turned into prime Barca, it seems. They're playing it around well. Pereira, back to Gabri. Can we... Yes, Renan picks it off. Can we get a third now? Jimmy on the ball. Donizetti going himself. I reckon he's going to take the shot. Yes, and it is tipped over the bar. Uh, four minutes of added time. Can we get a third in added time? Bolivia get a goal back. Ball into the box. It's cleared. So Teldo's going to get onto it. We're up to first, actually, on goal difference, it seems. Um, so Teldo. Oh, good tackle, Renan. Good tackle. Argentina on four points. They're drawing with Uruguay. Nil-nil at home. That is big. That is very, very big. Fantastic work, lads. Not as good of a performance, to be completely honest, but I'm going to say I'm, I'm encouraged anyway. Um... Great performance from the boys. Well, okay performance. I was just saying that. We're top of the uh, top of the pops uh, at 
two games played, six points, four goal difference. Um, five con- goal, goal, scored one conceded Paraguay, two one behind us. Argentina's big di- nil nil with Uruguay. That is quite big. So they stay on four points each. Chile and Bol- Bolivia have three, and Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru. Colombia losing two out of two so far. <sighs> Could be big. We moved up to seventh in the world rankings. We're slowly making our way up. There's Belgium, our former team. There's Holland, our former team. Uh, and then we're down here in seventh. So we need to push our way up. So hopefully we will do. Um, so let's just go to send the assistant. We have more games coming up next. Colombia and Ecuador. Maybe we'll just do every game of our World Cup qualifiers. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because uh, they're actually our tough games. And then we've got Argentina next year. And then summer break and then some more qualifiers and then the the first two ones and then the last two qualifiers so let's see how things go we'll be back with more salgueros next i hope you guys enjoyed this one it's been alex and i'll see you guys next time